Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV, episode number 101. And I'm so stoked that we made it this far and we're just going to keep on climbing. Uh, this is a sample that I got about two weeks ago from Tendril Wine Cellars there in the Willamette Valley of Oregon. This is their 2010 Willamette Valley Pinot Noir. They refer to this as the white label. Um, this wine right here runs in at $48 a bottle. And although this is a relatively new winery, Tendril Wine Cellars has been around since 2008. Their uh, head winemaker and owner, uh, Tony Reinders, he's been making some stellar Pinot Noirs in Oregon for a while now. He was working with Argyle, one of my favorites. He was also working with Domaine Serene, where he got many accolades for making some amazing wine there. Um, he also is a part of the uh, uh, Cornerstone Cellars, the stuff that they make in Oregon, uh, their Pinot Noirs and their Chardonnays. So, I mean, he's he's got that pedigree. So, again, I'm very excited about getting into this Pinot Noir today. Now, color-wise, you know, it's that nice, just red, like bright, burgundy type of color uh, that I'm looking for. It's 100% Pinot Noir, and sure enough, I can see my wedding ring right through there. Uh, on the nose, yeah, and this is what I really like about, um, you know, it doesn't have to be an Oregon Pinot Noir, but they certainly uh, tend to gravitate towards this style. What I like about these cooler Pinot Noirs is that there's just this really nice earthiness that goes to these. I'm going to be making a, a cream of mushroom soup later, and uh, that was what was getting me thinking about Pinot Noir today. And, and there's definitely this mushroominess, this earthiness um, that's going along with this wine on the nose. I'm also getting some of that cola and some of that sassafras. I'm getting strawberries and cherries. I'm getting like also like a peppery type of spice and, and maybe a little bit of like some cured meats there. I mean, this is definitely a, a pretty, pretty nose. Uh, more than anything, though, we're getting those mushrooms and we're getting that that cola and those red to 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 some dark fruits. Like there's a little plum action in there as well, um, but definitely like in the nose here. Let's see how we do on the old palate. And that uh, cola type of characteristic that I was just noticing on the nose, very much present uh, on the front palate here. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to try some more. i got to get back into this. Along with that cola, um, there is this nice kind of peppery spice that's going along with it. Um, I am getting some nice like uh, like sour cherry notes and, and, and sour in a good way. I was talking to um, Dave after we recorded uh, episode 100. And if you haven't seen that, please click back and check that one out. <clears throat> we were talking about how uh, that Chardonnay, um, there was kind of like a, a sour note uh, that was on it, but very much sour in a good way. Um, that, uh, sh did I say Chardonnay? It was a champagne made uh, of all Chardonnay. That was kind of like a, a green apple Jolly Rancher type of sourness. Um, this one... It's it's got some of that some of those sour notes. It's not as candy fied um, as what we were noticing with that uh, that champagne the other day. Let me see if I can pick this out some more. But definitely, there's this nice sour note to it, like these sour cherries. A little bit of like uh, bacon fat there. Um, 
again, that cola is really what is so present there. And there is that nice earthiness, that nice like mushroomy, uh, umami uh, type of flavor. And very much, uh, you know, uh, a, a very uh, 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 an elegant uh, Pinot Noir, you know, um, this is one of those wines where, you know, you're serving it to somebody who's, who's not much of a wine person. They're going to taste it. And the first thing that they're going to say is, wow, that's really, that's really smooth, right? That's a comment that you get a lot. Um, and, and, and I definitely want to recommend this to you. You know, if, if you're just really starting to get into wines, I mean, it is kind of pricey at $48, but I mean, if you're looking for a wine that is smooth, uh, this is definitely something that you would like. Um, I'm really excited to try this with my uh, mushroom soup that I'm going to be making later today because um, just those nice earthy notes I think are going to pair uh, really well. I, I do like um, that little hit of, uh, of that sour cherry, but kind of bright cherry that's going on on this. Um, and I, I definitely, I know that this is going to go well with some food. I can also see this, um, you know, along, aside from the mushroom soup, if we're thinking meats, this is definitely a, a, a great pairing with like some duck. I think that would be awesome. I almost want to go down to the Chinese food place down the street for me and get some of that tea smoked duck to go with this. Cause I think that those flavors would very much complement each other score wise. It's just really nice. There is almost this, um, like a browned butter type of thing happening too. Um, this is, was aged for 15 months, uh, on French oak, 30% new French oak. And then this has been in this bottle right here for just about a year. Um, and so maybe that butteriness is kind of coming from the oak. Maybe it's coming from that secondary malolactic fermentation. Um, but it's very, and, and maybe that's what's, uh, uh, contributing to that smoothness that I was talking about before, but this is, uh, a, a, just a very, very good wine. Uh, score wise, I'm going to throw this at, at, uh, as like a 92 right here. Um, you know, the thing that I love about a really good, um, Pinot Noir is, is, it's not overpowering, right? I mean, right away, you are going to taste something. You're definitely going to taste that cola, um, but it's also, you know, laid back enough where you can let these subtle secondary characteristics and tertiary and quaternary characteristics just come into play. I mean, as as I'm sitting here talking to you about this, those, those smoked meats are coming back. Um, I keep thinking back to that browned butter now, and I kind of want to... Uh, I want to make sure to add extra butter to that soup that I make tonight. Don't tell my wife. Um, this is this is just solid right here, and I, I am so thankful uh, for the folks at Tendril Wine Cellars uh, for sending this out my way. Um, I definitely enjoyed this, and, and I'll have a link for uh, their website below, so maybe you guys could check out the ones too, because this is nice, and 92 points, and, and I think you're going to like it. Everybody. Stay rad.